So often we hear so many black men claim that black women are manly and aggressive and are not feminine. And you have so many black females that are offended by that. And many have come to the place where they've accepted the fact that they have testosterone, that they are manly, that they are aggressive and they Blame that on the fact of being single parent moms. What I find interesting is I've come across so many so-called white women that are also single parent moms that are also raising sons by themselves, but yet they're able to retain their femininity they sound like a woman, they act like a woman, they think like a woman. Whereas you can close your eyes and listen to the voice of a so-called black woman in many cases. The first thing you hear is aggressiveness and manliness and that gruff sound in her voice because she allowed Steve Harvey to get inside her mind. When Steve Harvey wrote that book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, what many black women did not realize is that you are what you think. You produce what you think. So if you think like a man, there is no way that you can continue to act like a lady because your mind, your thinking is what dictates your actions. If I think that I'm a woman or if I think like a woman, as time go on, my gestures will become feminine. My ways will become feminine because of my level of thinking. Whereas many black women should learn how to be a lady and think like a woman. If more women were to start thinking like women, instead of thinking like a man, thinking that by thinking like a man, they're learning how to raise a son into a man, instead of just teaching the son right from wrong. Teaching a child right from wrong, whether it's a male or a female, is universal. It don't take testosterone to raise a son. Yes, men and women have, or better yet, play different roles in life, in society. Men will be men and women will be women. If a man thinks like a woman, there's no way that he's going to act like a man. We see that. With many young boys that's growing up, that's raised in a single parent home in the black community. Because for some odd reason, the white boys that grow up with a single parent mom has not been emasculated. They act like boys. They think like boys. They grow into men. Although they were raised by their single parent white mother. In the black community, the young boys grow up to think like women. Because they were raised like women, they were never taught to think like a boy. They were never allowed to be a boy. Because the mother thinking that she's doing the right thing, 
taking the advice of Steve Harvey, misdirected her sons and her daughters. So now her daughters are growing up thinking like men, thinking that they don't need men, thinking that they can do it all by themselves. They don't need a man in their life. And if they choose a man, they choose someone outside of their race because they were taught and conditioned by the moms to get them a white man. That black men are no good, although she raised her son to be a feminine black male. And that's why I believe that so many black females support the LGBTQ community. They support that. But I want to read a scripture to you. Taken from the book of Proverbs. And I hope that this verse would enlighten and inspire so many so-called black women to start thinking like a lady. Not thinking like a man. Not thinking like a female. But thinking like a lady. And that she would act as a lady as a result of her thinking like a lady. See, your mind is extremely powerful. It's more powerful than people give credit to it. And whatsoever you think is what you produce in life. Your mind is what controls your actions. Your mind is what produces your life and your future and the future of your children because of the right information, the right knowledge that you instill in your children, which come as a result of how you think. So if you thinking like a man, again, there's no way you can act like a lady because your mind is what dictates to you. So Steve Harvey gave you the wrong information. Steve Harvey has misled so many black females because many black females felt because of the fact that Steve Harvey is a man that what he tells you is correct. So now Steve Harvey got his platform where he's given relationship advice and much of what he say is good advice. But when he comes to that book, he failed and he misguided so many black women. And he's got so many black women acting and thinking like men. And it's at a point now where they can't control themselves because the things that men desire, now you have black females desiring the same thing, even when it comes to desiring the same sex. Because she was told by Steve Harvey to think like a man. But I want to read Proverbs, the 31st chapter, reading the 10th to the 31st verse. And it reads as follow. Who can find a virtuous woman? Now, this is referring to a man. The Bible says that he that finds a wife finds a good thing. It does not say she that finds a husband or the Lord will provide you with a husband. But it says that he that finds a wife finds a good thing. So a man have to find you. But there's a certain thing that men have to look for in a woman. For her to be virtuous, for her to be strong. Strength is not you waving your fingers and bobbing your head or you having an attitude. Strength is not you being able to raise a household alone because that's how that's not how God intended it to be. But I'm about to explain to you 
what a strong woman is like, the qualities of a strong woman. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. In other words, she's not out to try to harm him, nor destroy him, nor to use the children as a weapon against him, nor to put things in his food to try to control him. But that's what many modern day females do. She shall do him no, she shall, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. So it's not like the husband is telling you, you got to go out and work. You got to find something to do. You got to help me with these bills because we're living in modern times where things are insane. We're dealing with inflation now in this Guys that's struggling on their home on their own, and the women are at home being expensive. They're expensive. They have uh, high values. They're spending the money as fast as he make it, and she is not contributing. She's shopping all day. She's on the internet all day. Stalking, harassing, and being a troll. But the Bible says, She seeks wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. This is what the virtuous woman, the strong woman does while her husband is out working. She rises also while it is yet night. In other words, she don't sleep late during the daytime. She don't watch the soap operas during the daytime. But she rises also while it is yet night and give meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. In other words, her family is not starving. She's getting up. She's preparing the meal. She's taking care of her children. She's making sure her children are fed before they go to school. She considereth a field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands. She plant a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. In other words, she's still up at night working, planning for her family. She's not lazy. The 19th verse says, she layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold this, the staff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She's making sure that her family is taken care of, that her children are properly clothed. They have food, they have coats, they have hats and gloves, even if it means she making it with her own hands. I don't know of too many women today that know how to sew, that know how to knit, that know how to crochet. I grew up in a house with a bunch of women and my sisters knew how to do those things. And because I sat back and observed my sisters, I also learned how to crochet and knit and sew. 
because that's what my mother and my sisters did. And me living in the house at one time, being the only boy in the house, had no choice but to learn those things. Learn how to cook. But at the same time, my father was in the home. I learned mechanics. So when he went out to fix his car, I was right there watching him. Watching the things that they do. So when I left the nest, I was well equipped. So she maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. The 23rd verse says her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and sell it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. So she's a businesswoman, an entrepreneur. She not only makes these things and provides for her family, but she's also got her business that she makes and supplies to the community. The 25th verse says, strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. So she's not on social media disrobing herself and showing off her half naked body. That's not the sign of a strong woman or a virtuous woman. The 26th verse says, she opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. So you don't hear her cursing like a sailor. You don't hear her arguing and fighting in public or on camera. She knows how to conduct herself as a lady because she thinks like a lady. She's not thinking like a sailor. She's not thinking like a man. She's thinking like a lady. And she's acting like a lady. So Steve Harvey gave you guys the wrong information. Again, the 26th verse says, She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household and eat not the bread of idleness. In other words, she's not just sitting around doing nothing. She's keeping busy productively. The 28th verse says her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. So She's being rewarded by her children because she set the example for her kids. And because of the fact that she's being an example to her children, both her sons and her daughters, because her daughters know how to be young ladies and the sons know how to treat their moms. Know how to respect their mother. So her children see how she conduct herself and her children rise up or grow up and call her blessed. And her husband thinks well of her. He's not calling her out of her name. He's not calling her a bee or a hoe or saying she belong in the streets. He respects her. He praises her. The 29th verse says, Many daughters have gone, have done virtuously, but thou excellence them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And the final verse says, give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works Praise her in the gates. That's a virtuous woman. That's the result of a woman thinking like a woman and acting like a woman. 
thinking like a lady, and acting like a lady, ignoring the advice that Steve Harvey is giving them. Steve Harvey had given many black women destructive advice. Many black women allowed Steve Harvey to dictate destruction to themselves and to their life. You don't need to be masculine to raise boys and teach them right from wrong. Steve Harvey gave you the wrong information. So think like a lady and act like a lady. If you think like a man, you're going to produce the works of a man and you will find yourself being a lesbian. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.